any, so you take any category of things that happen here as we've grown, that category has grown. Um, including a lot of the things that are vital to a transaction in terms of relationship between an agent and the company. Um, the frequency of those things has grown. Not in a bad way, that's actually great news. Uh, but as that's happened, access to resources gets stretched, as you can imagine. Um, and so one of the things that we did uh, now coming up on a year ago uh, to address this is say, um, hey, we're talking to a, a very experienced realtor who's been in the business for over two decades. Um, let's figure out a way for it to drop, um, to be a part of training and to be accessible um, as a additional resources, uh, additional resource for agents in a transaction. Um, Rob has done a really great job, I think that uh, 20 plus years of value in, in transactions um, provide a lot to people being able to access. As that's happening, um, up until now, I have filled the role that has traditionally been called managing broker. Uh, so if your listing has a violation, I'm copied on the email. That's one of the silly examples as to what that means. If you have someone who's angry at you in the industry, um, they get my email and phone number basically. Um, if you have an earnest money dispute or if you have a otherwise really challenging situation, um, this is a part of the role that managing broker does, right? Um, those are very important things. They're vital to the business. You have to do them. You have to do them timely, right? They oftentimes don't have like, hey, just want to get a chance. Like, nah, this is we have 12 hours to talk about this, right? So the frequency of those things, um, in addition to the growth of needs for training uh, and transaction coaching. So you see how that's kind of two different categories. Um, I actually kind of enjoy doing the majority of that stuff. Be real honest, I don't necessarily enjoy taking calls from other realtors <laughs> when they're frustrated about deals. Other than that, I can enjoy all of that. Um, but eventually you're gonna get to the point where I can't do it well. Uh, and that's a great day for the company, and that's kind of where we are. Um, in addition to that, or, or in line with that, um, there is a certain category of things that uh, I love to be able to continue doing, and that if I can find a way to um, bring in additional resources to do some of the other stuff, I then get to focus a higher percentage of, of my energy and support uh, for you as agents in different categories. Um, so think about this as um, non-transactional categories. So this is one of the reasons I wanted to get together. Um, this transition to Jess uh, is not at all motivated by me wanting to back away or do less. So if you think that, you've misinterpreted me. Um, I actually want to continue to be accessible to things that I think I can be uniquely valuable in and to do a good job in those areas. Um, and you can kind of think about this um, as connected to a transaction. Um, or in the other category, you might call it personal development, career development. Um, perhaps if you're on a team or forming a team, you know, uh, business advice, I can probably tell you some of the things I've screwed up, right? Uh, to say, hey, have you thought about this? That's a category, I, I love doing that. I get to do that with a lot of you. Um, in addition to that, uh, we have a growing staff who are uh, fantastic people that love this place and want you to succeed. Uh, this provides a bit more margin for me to make sure that they are resourced uh, and, and have the power to do their job as well. Because um, that's a, a part of my job too. Um, so I want to uh, ask both Rob and Jess to come up, join me. Um, all stands is here. Yeah. Um, so uh, I, I've asked if both of them would share real quick uh, as we kind of transition. So you saw this in writing. Um, this is a part of what Rob has been doing. This visual will help you. <laughs> Rob plus Mark plus Jess. Pretty much. That's about right. Uh, a part of what Rob has been doing. Um, Rob has been coordinating our uh, agent training. So uh, the rhythm that we're on is uh, we'll typically do two rotations of like agent training 101. Um, Rob hasn't necessarily led every one of those, but 
whether you've seen it or not, he's still a lot of work in coordinating what are those lessons, who teaches those lessons, maybe helping to apply when a lender comes in, the lender's running the session, but Rob helps that get applied to the agent's business. Um, so 20 plus years, right? Um, in addition to being a uh, transaction coach resource, okay? Uh, think earnest money disputes, um, listing violations, all the different stuff. Yeah. Um, and I think in general, um, the more challenging parts of the transaction where you're like, yeah, we're not in earnest money dispute yet, but feels like we're going there. This is something that a managing broker does. Signatures, listing contracts, any changes to your addendums or amendments to your listing contracts, uh, mutual releases. Technically policy on agency, but I've always been comfortable letting you use the pre-signed form because that form never changes. Um, uh, actually, we won't be able to do that anymore with that loop because they wipe the signatures if they're pre-written. So uh, I have a workaround for that. I forgot to tell you. Oh, great! Yeah. <laughs> I asked another company how they do that. Yeah. yeah. The skin. No, actually, Jess. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I do. Yes. 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 I, I wanted to, to help you with the visual to see like, oh, okay, it's not just the stuff that Mark has been doing, um, that Jess is taking on. It's actually stuff that Rob and Mark have been doing, um, that Jess is taking on. And I wanted to take a chance to thank Rob and his 20 plus years of experience and value in the industry, um, particularly for those that are kind of in their first like 24 months of the industry, um, the ability to have that amount of experience helping them understand the purchase agreement and listing contracts and how the mortgages work and what does title work. Um, I, I wonder if people that are newer really understand um, the value of all of that, of the two decades uh, having seen kind of everything. Um, so we're gonna take a chance to thank Rob. Thank you, Rob.
that personal growth to happen, especially for the newer agents. Um, so that's at the top of my list. And I really hope to meet with all of you one-on-one. -on -one. Again, the new agents, like I'm gonna be reaching out to you probably sooner um, rather than later and talking about your business goals and how we can work with you to better serve your clients and what support you need from me um, in order to do that. So, yeah. yeah. change that. Uh, I am going to be using the term managing broker. Jess uh, voted for broker manager, which I would be fine with that too. We don't plan on using the term office manager because I think that creates confusion because the industry is not really using that term. Um, but in case that clarity ever, if, if you ever need that clarity, um, 